morning guys welcome back it's part two of a book haul and we're gonna talk about the sci-fi yes it's a whole video all about sci-fi and it would be pretty long and i hope i remember correctly what i did show you and what i didn't because oops i think i will start from a like kind of standalones or at least something not connected to another stuff because ooh, 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 that's that's a lot i have three books by strugatsky brothers if you watch me for a while you probably know i love these authors and yeah slowly kind of moving through their books because they have a lot and the uh, issue is like now there's a lot of reprints in different publishing houses in different collections and sometimes it's hard to buy something very specific because like you kind of i don't want to buy a lot of separate books because it would be more expensive than buying collections but when i look at the collections it's like okay i haven't read this one but i've read another one and i have it like in another book so yeah actually i have like two separates here first one is like uh i think the english title is the dead mountaineers inn or something i've listened to a radio play last summer completely loved it i'm not like usually a fan of detective stories but it was detective stories with sci-fi until the last moment i was wondering so how they put a sci-fi element in it it was great it was so unexpected and so mainly i bought it for the collection because i've already read it so maybe i would like to reread it uh pro probably would like to reread it but it, yeah it was more for to put on a bookshelf kind of thing it's also like this trope where people are separated from the world without like uh any connection to the uh, outer uh place and in this case like uh, all the character is set on this hotel in the mountains uh, and because of the weather they, like they can't go anywhere and or send any message to anyone so it's like weird stuff happens which was fascinating and highly recommend if you like detectives and sci-fi and this one i haven't read it yet um I think the title is Hard to be a God. The book is about uh, another planet, uh, which uh, is this like kind of medieval state and uh, people from the Earth exploring different planets and they're trying to help uh, other planets in a way that like they want to help them pass this really dark moments in the history, but they can't show themselves uh, as uh, aliens and push anything on these people so like they're trying to slowly affect different parts of uh, society and so yeah this is like telling the story about this one person who try to help this different planet to pass the dark medieval ages really interested in this one and this book this one is a collection of uh, three novels i believe first one is uh, the land of crimson clouds uh, second is the way to Almatea. Uh, the third one is space apprentice and this is supposed to be the first the fourth one is the final circle of paradise which i think i've read and i'm not sure how it's connected because uh this three one is like basically they're all set on um in space so i think the first two one uh set on venus or the different of the only the first one is set on venus and other set on like just in space but space exploration you think it was written in the 60s or on late 50s in a time where people didn't know yet that the how the venus atmosphere actually looks like so they thought it's like wet rainforests uh they didn't expect it that the temperatures like set high and there was like some stories i think like ray bradbury also has like at least some short stories about venus and with also like this rainforest uh, theme but you know a lot of people write about mars and martians and not a lot of people write uh, sci-fi about venus and exploring and uh, that stuff 
So I really love this scene because yeah, of course, you know, it's cool to read about like different galaxies, but it's like so far away in the future. And I think like modern Sapphire is mostly like that because you know, we know now there is no merchants, like they know we can just land on the Venus as it is and all that kind of stuff but i really like all sci-fi like this so i'm super excited um now when i'm thinking about it like the first book and maybe like this astronauts like years later on some kind of different mission on earth because like the last circle of paradise it's like completely different from space travel from what i remember i think i've read it last last year or like 2018 so yeah, how to live safely in a science fiction universe by Charles Yu. So, surprisingly, I've seen this book a lot, uh, kinda on booktube, but I've never added it to like my Goodreads TBR. Maybe because the blurb in English didn't sound like super fascinating to me. It was like kind of interesting, but not that much. But I've seen this book in the bookstore. And like kind of title just like hit me like it's a something familiar. I started googling it. It was like yeah, weird enough. I didn't have it on TBR, but like I know it. And you know, I read the blurb here in the translation. I was like wow, I wanna read it. So basically, it is like how to live in a science fictional universe. And I think it also has like time travel, I believe. And I love everything with time travel. Like, give me like basically anything. I will probably read it. I was thinking about making a video with like all the books with time travel I've ever read, but it would be a long list. And also, I don't have a lot of this stuff with me like physically. And I, like I like showing books like that in the videos. So don't know when I'm going to make it but like that's an idea and could I can show a lot of both interesting books and not that interesting books who are not surprised it's another time travel book <laughs> by the way uh, if you didn't notice like I really love this trope um, before the coffee gets called by um, the Shikazu Kawaguchi I think it's translated from Japanese to English I believe yep uh, from Japan so it's not like that super hard sci-fi basically there's like this little cafe and when you buy your coffee you time travel and you need to get it back before your coffee gets cold so I'm super intrigued it's definitely an unusual way to time travel but I hope it will be good I think I've, I saw this book on uh, Ariel Bissett channel and she loved it so I'm interested uh, so, I don't know why I still haven't finished the series, but The Paper Girls, also time travel, by the way, if you did not notice. This is volumes uh, 4, 5 and 6, so this is a, uh, like, kind of the last half of the series. I love, just love, love, love these covers. They are so fabulous. And we are get, I think we are getting female female romance in it, so mm -hmm. this just would be amazing. Uh, I don't know, like when I got like the second and the third one, I just read them all together. By the way, did I show you the volumes two and three? Or it? I don't remember, guys. It was so long ago. In case I didn't, this is volume 2 and volume 3 and I loved them, I have like literally finished them on the day, grabbed them from my post office. It was amazing, just, and to, but to be completely honest, I think I need to reread it, the whole series when I have them and like make notes because the timelines are so tangled and intertwined that like it's becoming messy. I was a little bit confused when I finished volume 3 in terms of like how it's all worked together so I, I think I will need like a, a mind map or anything like to put it all together 
And this is uh, Dark Forest by Lucy Sings. That's uh, the second part of uh, Remembrance of Earth's Past trilogy, I believe. So I've read the Three by the Problem, loved it. Uh, finally bought myself a copy of the second book in the same edition because it is fabulous. Also, I haven't looked in under the dust jacket. Hmm. That's like not that super fascinating as a dust jacket, but still really pretty. Oh, oh I need to read it. So if you haven't heard about the body problem, it's like uh, this other alien species try to uh, invade the Earth because uh, they live in a really weird solar system with three suns, which makes them really unstable. Uh, it's really hard to develop and live basically because like there's really random periods of uh, like extreme colds and extreme heats. Uh, so when they know that they actually the Earth like perfect planet with one stable sun they decided like whatever we're gonna destroy the humanity and live there then moving on to Becky Chambers I don't remember did I showed you the first book in the series or not second book is uh, a closed and common orbit and the third one is a uh, record of spaceborne fuel and ooh. When I looked in, like in the blurbs, I think like the um, second or third book would, like follow with different characters in the same universe, uh, but like some maybe I would say background character from the first part. But still, I really love the writing style. I love the story. So I was surprised that I like so loved it because you know a lot of people uh, said it was like super character focused and nothing happened plot wise. But to, in my opinion, it was really great plot. And you know, I'm really focused on world building and plot. I'm not so focused on that character development, on like character relationship and all that stuff. Uh, barely remember character names after I finish this book. I can tell you like plot line sometimes in like minor details, but don't ask me about character names. <laughs> no. So the Wi-Fi and I think it's Wi-Fi, a Wi-Fi trilogy. I'm not sure how to pronounce this spaceship name, but basically the crew is uh, on a large spaceship and they're making tunnels in space. If you're familiar with like uh, rabbit holes in space and stuff, so like you can uh, go from point A to point B quicker than just traveling through the normal space, uh, you can go to like this weird uh, uh, dimension I would say um, so instead of go just traveling normally from point B to point A you can just like jump so this weird dimension or not out of space and time dimension and so basically the ship is building gates and entrances for these channels between different points and there uh, give, received a contract to um, make a tunnel to this completely new place because it's like this alien species decided to join the aliens or this galactic uh, stuff and whatnot. So they need to make a tunnel, and because of some uh, space conditions, they had to travel by themselves to that point, which will take them about like a year or probably more and then uh, start uh, open the tunnel gate from like that distant point uh, to the center of a uh, uh, galaxy this, this galaxy area so this all about their adventures on their way and i believe the close to common orbit it's i believe it's about the this uh, artificial intelligence which was on the ship and had to be completely blanked and reinstalled and got a physical body to live by herself and i think that the uh, record of space bone fuel it's like about the relatives of the captain of the wayfarer who was living on the huge um ship with like a lot of people which was long long time ago like what started on the earth and they were traveling through space to some 
planet to set up somewhere like they were still traveling they like know the aliens and they you know, all in this stuff but like just still this original ship that still didn't reach the destination or whatever and also uh, I think it's completely not connected to the main uh, trilogy but this just by the same author a little novella to, the, to be taught if fortunate I thought it was bigger I've, I didn't look at the pages on the Goodreads it's a tiny novella I'm not sure what this one is about but again I think it's like the main character is traveling gay in space but because of the some technology stuff when she will come back uh, probably the earth will be completely changed because of like the time difference or whatnot not sure what the also meant just from the blurb but yes this, she's starting like a kind of note uh your adventures i would say we'll see i'm like in this point i'm not sure from the blurb what is it about but yeah so yeah that's it for uh, my sci-fi haul uh thank you very much for watching i hope it was interesting I have like non-fiction and textbook and miscellaneous for the third haul so it would be really cool if you watch another video from this series but for now um, bye